Hey there, so I'm finally doing the nursery reveal. We got the letters yesterday and I painted them yesterday. Um, Abby helped me and they're up and I'm so thrilled. So I can't wait to show you. Just wanted to tell you a little bit quickly. Um, I wanted to have, as soon as I found out I was pregnant and having a boy, I wanted to have a vintage, like a wood antique toy theme. That's what I had envisioned in my mind. But um, I soon discovered that antique or vintage wood toys are so expensive. I went to a couple antique shops and to find like an old wooden, you know, 1903 truck, it was $400. I think I spent that on this entire room. So I had to change it a little bit. But it's not exactly having a theme anymore, but it has a vintage feel to it. So I want to show you quickly. And I'll start with the letter wall, which I'm so geeked about. Um, so here are my letters. I got them from Etsy. If you know the story, I originally ordered them from a, a great company called A Work in Progress. And anytime you like Google alphabet wall letters, their picture comes up. But I waited almost four months for them. And it was crazy and I just couldn't wait anymore. So I got these beautiful ones. They're so, so similar. Almost half the price from Alphabet Letters on Etsy, and I'll put the link below. They came unpainted, but it only took me a couple hours to paint them. And that way I was really able to tailor it to the colors that I chose for the room. And the main accent color I chose is red. Because, I don't know, I just wanted a red crib. This is a crib I got for free from my friend Jessica. It was white, um... It was like like a whitewashed pine. And what I did is I had this can of paint left over that I did above my fireplace. Remember that color I did above my fireplace? So I just sanded it lightly and then I didn't even prime it. I just like put this on and then to get that vintage looking, like I wanted it to look kind of old and rustic, I just rubbed on a walnut um, stain that I had under the cupboard. <laughs> I don't know, I just like found it under the cupboard. I rubbed it on and then I wiped it off with a cloth. And that's the look it gives you, like sort of like in the grain of the wood, it kind of leaves, I don't know, it looks, I really like it. It looks vintage-esque or whatever. I didn't sand any spots because I didn't want any spots that might flake off if he's like eating it or whatever. But I did find this great little thing at HomeSense that I hung above his change table. And it's, you see it has the chips and the wear spots in it and they have the same finish they have the same like rubbed on finish and to get that like I said you just paint it like a vintage red like you find a vintage red you paint it and then all you do to get this look is rub on stain a dark walnut or mahogany stain and then wipe it off and that's it and that's what you get so I hung that above his change table which was just this old dresser we already had found it in the garbage years ago, or paid 10 bucks for it, I think, I can't remember, but um, it used to have flower knobs in my daughter's room, so what we did, I ordered these vintage blocks off eBay, it was five bucks for a whole set of them. They're really old and worn, <clears throat> you can see they've been played with a lot, and my husband, we just drilled into them, and from the other side, put a screw in and used them as handles, how cute is that? Didn't cost a lot again. So um, we hung the diapers on the side and I just used good old 3M hooks. 3M hooks, that way if he ever wants to use the dresser when he's bigger. I hung his wipes warmer here using 3M hooks and then hung the basket on the 3M hooks. We can just take it off without wrecking the dresser. So pretty cool, right? Instead of buying a change table because they grow so fast. We already had this, it was free, it works. This cute bedding set I found on Kijiji, which is a used site here. Um, I liked it because it had that vintage red in it, and it had the blue that I liked, and it has the green, which is my other accent color. And because it was letters, that's when I decided to get the letter wall. <gasps> Can I just say how awesome it is? I'm loving the letter wall. I think it was $80 or something, so it was the splurge in the room, but it's freaking adorable. 
So because the bedding had chocolate brown in it, I decided like the bed skirt has chocolate brown and stuff like that. I decided to bring some more chocolate brown in and I just got chocolate brown panel curtains. We have a Roman blind that we haven't hung yet, but we have to put that up. And a chocolate brown carpet just to sort of make it more brown in here. Here's my latest art project. Oh, I found this vintage plane. It's like a 1915 toy plane. I got it off of eBay and then I painted it with the same red as the crib and then did the same rubbing on the whatchamacallit and I just left the propeller. And I did the same thing with his little rocking horse here. My dad made this for my brother when my brother was a baby so it's I guess 25 years old. I just painted it red and distressed it with rubbing um, stain over top. So yay! That was fun. Here is my art project. Um, with those blocks, again, we talked about earlier that I got. I got a whole box full for $5. I ended up um, making just this cute thing and hot gluing it on. I wanted to get a shadow box, but shadow boxes were really expensive. So I found this really neat tray at HomeSense. It's a tray, you can see it's supposed to sit on your coffee table. And it was already all looking like that, vintaged up, and it already had the red, and it was $7. So I took this tray and I just hot glued on these blocks. So this is his birthday when he comes. That's the day of my C-section. The nice thing is too, if it changes, these just pop off and I can re-glue something on, but you'll see his name. <laughs> I love the name Milo. Love it, love it, love it. Everyone hates it. Everyone's been giving me the hardest time, so I might change it. But anyways, I just, I, we were going to name him Noah or Jacob. I'll tell you the story. We were going to name him Noah or Jacob. But they're so popular. We couldn't like agree. We didn't love either of them. And then I was watching Being Erica, and she was dating this guy in an episode named Milo. And I was like, I love name. I just started smiling and I got so excited. My husband's like, well, that's not really a, you know, grown up name. So what if we name him Miles and we call him uh, Milo as a nickname? And I was like, that's such a great idea. So we were really geeked about it. But when we shared it with family and friends, everyone's like, that's a dog's name. <laughs> Milo and Otis. And that's terrible. And some people actually said they, they will refuse to call him that. So sort of a bummer <laughs> but it's I know it's unique but it's not like weird like you know sky or rain or ketchup or something but anyways I, don't put rude comments because I, I really might keep it as that I really like the name Miles and I really like Milo as a nickname so freaking cute I just want to hug him and kiss him Milo what a cute name but anyways so we will see but anyways, so that was a really fun project. So when he's born, I'm going to put, use the leftover blocks to put how much he weighed there, pounds, and then the time of the, the blocks for the time that he was born. Coming down there. So fun, right? And again, that project was under $10. We also, with the leftover blocks, we found these, my, my sister-in-law found these awesome old looking wooden toys at Goodwill. I think she paid you know, five dollars, three dollars, they weren't expensive and I love them, we're not even going to paint them. They just look cool. This one's actually from Ikea, it's not even old, but it has that look of an old train, so it kind of went with what I was going for. This is the chair that was in my girl's room, my, it was actually my baby brother's, like my stepmom rocked my baby brother's on it. I love these chairs because all you have to do, you can find them really, really cheap, is recover the cushion. And I didn't like recover it, like a really recover it. I'll show you my ghetto recovering. Look. But it doesn't matter, because <laughs> you never see the back. So it's been pink, it's been blue, it's been so many colors with all, with the different nurseries. When you change the theme, you can just change the pad really, really easily. And, um, yeah, so a quick coat of spray paint and you've got a free chair or a very inexpensive chair. Just got this cheap little bookshelf here, put some of the stuff we kept. And then I got this Melissa and Doug train. 
um, because the real vintage wood train I wanted was like I said $400 <laughs> or whatever. It was so ridiculous. So this is just like, it was like a brand new wood um, one and I just painted it and then rubbed stain on it so like to make it look old and distressed. Beat it up, I hammered it, <laughs> rubbed some paint. First I painted it, then I rubbed some stain on it and it looks vintagey. So I'm so geeked. And then I just have a spot for an album there and then his shadow box with his pictures once he's born. So that's it, that's maybe Milo, maybe who knows. That's his nursery. Oh, we got a boat lamp. It was on clearance. So I was like, oh, that goes with the whole thing we got going on there. Cutie patootie. Yes, so a cheap way <laughs> to do a nursery is to find free <laughs> or reuse furniture, give it a quick paint job, and then splurge on the one thing that you, you really want for an impact, and that for me was this focal wall, which I'm in love with. And you'll see I did the same thing, like a vintage some of the letters. What I did was just I painted it beige and then I rubbed some white paint over top and then I rubbed some stain. I stained the button with the same stain. Um, oh, with this one I tried to make it look old by painting it blue and then rubbing on a lighter blue over top to make it look like it's been sanded in some areas. That's a trick to make it look like it's sanding if the sanding isn't working, which it wasn't. <laughs> And yeah, so, so super cute. So in love with the nursery. I gotta say, it turned out awesome. It was like $400 maybe for everything. So I'm geeked about that too. Love saving money and I think it's really cute. So I hope you like it. Hopefully you got some ideas. If you wanna know how to, I guess, antique furniture and I wasn't really clear with how I did it, just message me and I'll give you more instructions. Anyways, there you go. We'll see you next time.